Hey everybody, today we're talking about decimal models. Let's take a visit to the past where we learned about the base 10 number system. We learned that there are 10 hundreds in 1,000, and there are 10 tens in 100, and there are 10 ones in 110. So what might be the 10 things that are inside 1 1? Hmm, I'll tell you, they're called tens, and they look like this. Let's look at a few models. Here I have a circle and a square. If I chop each of these whole items into 10 pieces, then one of their pieces is referred to as a tenth. Similarly, on a number line, when I have one whole space and I divide that into 10 spaces, one of those spaces is a tenth. And here's a fun fact, one dollar is equivalent to 10 dimes. They're both worth one dollar. Since I have 10 dimes in one dollar, each of those dimes is a tenth of a dollar. Pretty cool, huh? Now that you know there are 10 tenths in one one, you probably want to know 10 of what are in one tenth. Well, wonder no longer. The 10 things that make up one tenth are called hundreds, and they look like this. So back to our square, that I chopped into 10 pieces and told you that one of those pieces is a tenth. Well, if I take each of those tenths and chop them into 10 pieces, one of my pieces is a hundredth. There are a hundred of those little squares inside my whole square. Now, can we look at this on a number line? Yes, yes we can. You remember that when we had our space from zero to one and I cut it into 10 pieces, that each of those was a tenth. Well, now I want to take that tenth, and I want to cut it into ten pieces. Now each of those pieces is, anyone, anyone? A hundred, correct. Now, does this have a money example too? It does, because we know that one dollar and a hundred pennies are both one dollar. That means that one penny is a hundredth of one dollar. Cool. Let's look at an example. Here we have different amounts of money, and we want to know in which amount is the six in the hundreds place. Okay, so let's look at this first option. I have six dollars, so that's my whole number. And then I have six pennies, which is six cents, and that is written like this, six dollars and six cents. We know that this is the tens place and this is a hundreds place, so in this one, yes, the six is in the hundreds place. In this one, I have six dollars, so that's my whole number, and then I have six dimes, which is 60 cents, which is written like this. In this case, this six is in the tenths place. This is not a correct answer. Down here, I have six whole dollars, and then I have a quarter, which is 25 cents, and a penny, which is one cent. So that's 26 cents. So here again, I do have a six in the hundreds. I have a two in the tenths. This is one of my correct answers. Lastly, I have six whole dollars, and I have a nickel, which is five cents, and a penny. So that gives me six cents. So again, I have a six in the hundreds. Here we have three correct answers. Okay, your turn to try decimal models.